Chapter 1 The Making of an Artist As you can see, my studio is a bit of organized mess right now. I want to declutter and organize it and add some cottage core and witch core elements to it. So join me in this vlog as I add some magic to my studio. So I don't have anything particular in my mind. I just want to add some magic to it basically. I'm not sure if I will move a lot of furniture because this orientation is best suitable for me. I could have separated my PC from my traditional painting. But the problem is that I stream traditional art. I do need to have my PC right beside my painting table. I already have some decoration ideas in my mind. And I'm going to walk you through this whole studio makeover. Yeah, and this studio makeover will be heavily focused on decluttering and decorating. Let's get started. So I have already ordered some items from Amazon and let me show you a couple of them i ordered this very cute floating house shelf and i mean just look at it it's just so cute for the next thing i i just wanted a glass container just to add some color and i couldn't really find uh, like a bottle or something in which i could uh, maybe store my linseed oil or any other art medium so i found this beautiful vintage style spray bottle just look at this thing it's so beautiful it will definitely add some magic to the room of course i think any room makeover is incomplete without some fairy lights this is actually battery powered so I'm really hyped for that and I, I don't like switches I just I fear them let's just say that this is in warm white this is also going to be one item that adds that magical essence okay now we will wait for all of this to arrive and I will see you then. Okay guys, so the lights have arrived and let me just show you how beautiful they look. Just look at them, so beautiful. By the way, ignore the background noise. Moose is just readjusting in his sleep. So, these are so beautiful. I am absolutely obsessed with these. But I do have a sad news as well. It's broken. How pretty this is. And it would have worked like so. But it's broken. I will have to return it. And just I will just order a new one. So some Amazon items are yet to arrive but when I was searching for these decorative items on Amazon I couldn't really find a lot of things that I had in mind. Either the things are not available at all or they are available at very very expensive rates. I don't think it's even worth to get those items at those prices. So I thought I will just make my own. I have two items that I have actually made uh, one of them i have actually colored already look at this little pumpkin these were some of the items that i was searching for on amazon i, I just couldn't find any and i also made a mushroom i haven't colored it yet and this was also made using air dry clay i also got this glass pen I have never used one so I thought I will give it a try 
and I think it's going to look really pretty sitting on my table. I'm not a calligraphy person, so I don't know what I'm actually going to do. I will be using it for sketching. I really like how smooth it is. I, I already painted this mushroom, but I forgot that the bottom of it was not stable. So I'm just going to sand it down a bit, then paint this part again. I really like using wash to paint on these clay items uh, because it gave me plenty of time to mix the colors together and it's done now it's looking way better than what I expected let's make some decorative pieces for that I have some designs in mind which I have sketched on the outside I'm actually just sketched this card holder but I'm going to change the top part of this mushroom into that jewelry holder that I wanted to make so I'm going to transform this shape so I'm just going to transform this shape okay so half hour later it's done now I'm going to give some texture on the underside of this mushroom and then let it dry and then we are going to paint it to one the ghost is dry now and this is how it's looking and i have already uh, inserted the tea light here adds so much uh, to the ambience I think I might make one or two more of these uh, ghosts so that I can put them together. Uh, this mushroom is also complete. This is also uh, not completely dry. So I'm not painting it now, right now. I also made this, um, the brush holder that I was talking about. I know right now it's not really looking like a tree stump, but I think with the right color it's it will look better but this is really the best i could do uh, it was really not working as this is uh, i don't know four or fifth uh, clay project for me so uh, i'm really uh, not used to working with clay and it's really difficult to get exact shapes that i want
if you can see but it's all covered in dog fur trunks i kept them under the table these have just old books uh, including art books and this is what it's like to vacuum <laughs> better and I will also be able to easily record um, like whenever I'm painting on this easel as I'm right-handed there won't be any shadow on the paper now. All the clay pieces are finally done and I absolutely love how all of these came out. I, I painted all of them using gouache and I have watered all of them. This came in, I got it replaced and look how pretty it is. I just love this spray bottle. 
I am so glad I was able to get a replacement for this because there was no other piece like this one. Like this was the only spray bottle that looked like it would match with my theme. So yeah, I am glad. So this area particularly I really like because of the ship. I want to make it look like the ship has been reclaimed by the nature and it's like an abandoned ship. It's this little mushroom can go here. And then we have these two lovely ghosts. I am keeping this ghost with where I added the grey details and the shadow at the back because it looks like that ghost is older in age and this one is like uh, younger maybe this one's child so that that looks really cute this pumpkin i'm going to keep in the front it looks really nice in the night because i have put these lights in here This is the brush rest that I made. You can rest two brushes at the same time, and I also made like a little well. So, of course, it's not perfect. It, I I struggled a lot uh, with the like making making it look like a tree stump. I don't know if it still looks like a tree stump or not, but. It was my first one, so yeah, I, I haven't worked in clay a lot, so I think I can let it go. Yeah. So, so this is how my table is looking currently. It's more decorated and has a very naturey autumnal magical vibe. So the makeover is almost done. I just want to add a few more touches. Uh, uh, like I want to add some fairy lights and some more fake wines. So I'm going to do that tomorrow actually. And tomorrow is also, okay. <laughs> what? He just wanted to go out in the balcony. It's actually Diwali tomorrow and Anytime he hears firecracker sound, he just wants to investigate what's happening. Yeah, I just thought I would. So I just thought I would hop in here and show you some of the progress. This is how everything is looking right now. I just dusted every single thing.
Chapter 1 The Making of an Artist <laughs> 